You may have seen photos like this on your social media feed. The good news is you don't need expensive equipment to see comment to Chishan Atlas. If you think that's a mouthful, scientists also call it A3. You can see it with your own eyes on the western horizon. It's pretty rare. It's usually about once every decade that we get to see a, a naked eye comet. Comets can be hard to see. They're made of ice and dust. And when the sun pulls them closer with its gravity, they start to melt. They have pockets of gas that explode with the temperature. The sunlight reflecting on the dust is what causes the tail that you see. Now A3 has come close to the Earth, and this is your chance to put your phone down and look up. We think that it last visited about 80,000 years ago. That was when Neanderthals were still on Earth. And it comes from pretty far away. Beyond Neptune, beyond Pluto, it's much farther away, the Oort cloud. And they are just frozen since the formation of the solar system five billion years ago. This astronomy writer says the best time to see the comet is up to two hours after sunset. After that, it sets below the horizon. Try to avoid the full moon, which will light up the sky and make it harder to see. As the weeks go by, it will get further away and you may need binoculars. We're so lucky this year, uh, having uh, a total solar eclipse, uh, the, 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 the only one that we will see in our lifetime here in Quebec. And one month later, the greatest northern lights we've had in two decades, and now this comet, which is a bit of a surprise. Poulain says comets can be unpredictable. Even when you see them coming, you never know when they could disappear. There's a very deep set uh, connection that humanity has throughout history with comets. So when you look up, you're actually connecting to that history in many respects. And it's an awe-inspiring, humbling thing to see with your own eyes. Well, you can see the comet with your eyes, experts say a camera, including a phone camera, will capture more detail. So if you want a keepsake of this pretty special phenomenon, here's a tip. You can mount your phone on a tripod and set it to long exposure.